Growing up farming, you had to have foresight. You had to anticipate what was coming. At least on our farm, my dad always taught us to um, operate from a position of scarcity. So uh, don't use up all of anything, whether it's the money in the bank or whether it's the water in the pond. Don't use it all up. Always uh, save some for later. For Greg Davis, president and CEO at Speedling Incorporated, his father's advice plays a key role in how his company operates on a day-to-day -day basis. Proudly calling itself a company that was started by farmers for farmers, Speedling produces a wide range of vegetable, ornamental, forestry, forage, and specialty crops. The operation was established in Sun City in 1968, and while it has expanded to eight nurseries throughout the United States, Speedling's original farm, just south of Ruskin, remains its corporate headquarters. For 50 years, Speedling has combined innovation and best management practices to efficiently increase production while decreasing its use of limited resources. We control everything that we possibly can. Again, we're farming or in Mother Nature, but there are some variables that we can control and that's our responsibility. We're putting soil in a tray and, and seed in the soil and, and a little bit of water and feed to grow a plant. But when you do that a billion times or more each year, it all of a sudden gets kind of complicated. So we put in some pretty um, efficient systems to track what we're doing to help us plan what we're going to do and to help us review what we did do. If managing resources is key to Speedling's success, innovation is how it gets the job done. The EPS facility produces the industry standard Speedling Flat, an inverted pyramid tray for their seedling product. Its unique cell design allows young plants to form stronger root systems and improves survivability, reduces the production costs, and allows for higher yields. There was no more broadcasting of seed in the tray, um, no more uh, dividing the roots up as they planted them in the field. That plug was ready to rock and roll when it went to that uh, field to be planted. So quick takeoff, quicker to the market. We grow a multitude of crops and um, you know, every year we're playing with something different and something strange. Uh, major crops for us are um, celery, believe it or not. If you eat celery anywhere in the country, good chance Speedling's the one that started those plants. Throughout the operation, Speedling uses water quality best management practices to reduce water consumption. At their Bushnell location, plants are watered through an innovative sub-irrigation system. Well, in the sub-irrigation system, we never have to put moisture on their leaves, only when we're spraying or feeding. The rest of the moisture comes from underneath, and it allows an extremely consistent product because we hold the water under the trays until it sucks it up all the way through the cell, and every cell is equally saturated, then we pull all the water off. Well, water is the lifeblood of any nursery. Uh, without water, we don't have a crop, we don't have a business. So we're very cautious with it, we're conservative with it. We make sure that uh, what we're using is going to the plants instead of on the ground. You, you begin to understand that we can't create new water. So what we have is what we have to work with. How are you gonna grow? You have to be more efficient. You have to maximize that water use through either reuse, additional conservation methods. And the farmers in West Central Florida, the greenhouses in West Central Florida, Speedly particularly, has really learned to maximize that resource by conservation. At the Bushnell location, over four million gallons of water circulate through the 700,000 square feet of growing space. Through sub-irrigation, the facility's water consumption dropped by 80%. And so clean water for us, it's, it's not a slogan, it's, it's what we need, it's integral to our product. As with many other agricultural operations across the nation, Speedling is faced with a major decline in one of its most valuable resources. So labor is likewise a limited resource and one that is um, currently growing more limited, more quickly maybe than many of the environmental resources that we think of. The build-out that we're doing this year is more about 
designing a more efficient, uh, particularly more labor efficient, but for all resources, less, less heat, less movement, less hands-on touching, less water, less waste of all of our resources. It's really about that far more than it is about expanding our operations. It's not five years in the future and it's not 10 years in the future that we're gonna have to learn to farm without labor. It's now, it's today. I think our industry has to change and evolve, but our population continues to grow and people continue to wanting to live in the, the areas that oftentimes are the most productive. And so we've got to find tools and techniques and methodologies that will help us do more with less, whether that means uh, less water, less, less labor, um, less space. It's all about being uh, responsible with what you have and treating it as a, um, as a limited resource, as a really valuable limited resource, and being responsible with how you use it and what you do with it. The future of Speedling is um, very bright because uh, I don't think flowers are ever gonna go out of style, and I'm pretty certain I'm never gonna quit eating.